Shout the Lord with us. Hallelujah. Please be seated. I have dominion. For all those testimonies, put your big, big, big hands together for the Lord. It's Covenant Family Day. Everyone in your family will be going from glory to glory. From testimony to testimony. From blessing to blessing. Scream the loudest amen. Your own testimony shall be the largest of them all. Say with me, parenting is for life. Say it louder if you are not afraid. Say it the loudest if you are not afraid. Jesus the healer is here to heal our families. That's why this morning, and I think all through the rest of the Sundays in the month, we'll be injecting some truths on securing our family. Particularly on parenting. A trained child will emerge as a blessed generation. Proverbs 22 verse 6, the Bible says, Train up your child, not the teacher. Train up your child, not the children's church. Train up your child, not the brother. There are few misconceptions parents have in raising their children. Many think young children have no idea of what they are doing. Young children are clueless. Let them be older, leave them alone. Let them be older, leave them alone. So you tell a two-year-old, don't take that thing and we slap your hand. Don't do that again now. Tomorrow, he will slap his teacher. You tell your three-year-old, don't go there. Oh! Why are you doing like that now? Tomorrow, we will break the neck of the wife. Research has shown that even from the mother's womb, babies are sensitive. They can perceive reactions. They can perceive tension. They can read their environments. When their moms are not happy, they know. When you are indulging them, do they know? No! He knows when is getting at you. So we do it some more. And if you are not a wise mother, you tell her, leave me alone. Proverbs 23, verse 13 and 14. Proverbs 23, verse 13 and 14. From the womb, Proverbs 23, 13 and 14. From the womb, before a child is born, he said, withhold not correction from what? From the adults? From who? If thou beatest him with a rod, he shall not die. Will they die? He shall not die. Carry my friend, stop that nonsense. Whether it's age one or age two. Verse 14, read that scripture. One to go. Thou shalt beat him with rod. And what? Shall deliver his soul from hell. If you can't caution your child, you can never repair him as an adult. If you are not able to talk to your child in the womb, at birth, at dedication day, you can't speak for the child to hear, and you know this child hears. When he goes to college, he can go anywhere. He will never pick up your phone. I'd like us to know, like I said in the first service, human beings are spirits. 
they can determine. God is a spirit, we are spirits. And I'll add in this service. The spirit of a human being is alive right from conception. He's alive. He can hear, he can act, he can react. So what must we do? When should training start? From the womb. Say from the womb. Say that if you are not afraid. Say that if you are not afraid. From the womb. Speaking to your child. Training your child. When he grows, he will respond to that directive. To the glory of God. We had waited for four months for a child, 24 years. And by the fourth year, miraculously, my wife conceived. When we went to the doctor, we didn't even know she has conceived. The doctor said, hey! I said, what's happening? They said, the child is in the wrong place. I said, where should it be? Because I've never had one. He showed me one photograph. They called it scan. He said, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? I said, I cannot see. The more I look, the less I see. It's here. It should be here. It's here. I said, no problem. God planted the baby there. We did not know. That same God can move the baby. So we turned to God in prayer and began to talk to God and talk to the baby. They say you are in the tube. It's a wrong place. Don't let them cut the tube of your mother. They say you are supposed to be in the womb. So move there. Inside the mother. I said, how long do we have? He said, three days. I said, at the name of Jesus, every nation shall bow. God that put the baby there can move the baby. We talked to God, talked to the baby, talked to God, talked to the baby. Three days after, took her back to the scan. Checked the scan. The man looked at me. said, Pastor Joseph Ajade, your baby has moved. That baby is getting married this year. Right from the womb, they hear. Training starts from the beginning. Training starts from conception. They are humans, are spirits. They hear voices. So anytime we talk to our son, you have been obedient from the womb. You can never derail. He say, I know. Lift up your two hands. Begin to prophesy to your generation. No disobedience in my generation. All my children, all my grandchildren, hear the voice of the Lord. We shall do the will of God. Begin to prophesy. All my great grandchildren, no derailments. The Spirit is a real person. Whether age four, age five, Lakata, Malana, Marakatuna, no devil shall destroy your character. Begin to sow the seed of prophecy into your children. Begin to sow the seed of prayers into your children. Whether age 1, or age 2, or age 5, or age 30. Parenting is for life. Don't wait till age 10. Don't wait till age, try, age 5. Begin to sow that seed now. Enter Balana Maraka Zatona Malana El Gazuza. He said, correct your child. Whatever is that concern, begin to prophesy miracle conception. Begin to prophesy the baby must keep growing inside the womb. Begin to prophesy at age one, at age two, you shall do the will of God. At age seven, you shall do the will of God. No derailment in my family. Every of my children, every of my grandchildren, every of my great grandchildren shall do the will of Jehovah. A priest forever after the other Melchizedek. Every distraction, enemies of progress, hanging around your family, hanging around your, your children, your grandchildren, cause them this morning. No concern in your family. Thank you and thank you. Wave your hands to him. Thank him and thank him. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Lift your hands to God. Covenant keeping God. Flood this camp. With triumphant children. Yeah. Flood this camp with obedient grandchildren. Yeah. 
Let's not disturb with a blessed generation. Amen. Everyone that the sound of my voice begin to enjoy rest round about with our children and grandchildren. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every child in the children's church, the teens' church, the young adult church, in the church here, going back to school tomorrow, I declare supernatural intelligence for every child. Amen. I declare rest around about for every child. Amen. Forward, ever, backward, never for every child. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. All our children, all our students writing exams in the primary school, secondary school, tertiary, in the university, IMSU and all, I declare, begin to succeed. Amen. Begin to excel. Amen. Begin to manifest. Amen. Go and shine. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Use the